Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a little gaming here on some high-end phones. We do have the Nokia 8, uh, the iPhone 8 Plus, and uh, the XE Premium, and the Note 8. So we're going to see how the gaming is on these with my favourite uh, Android game here. So let's just start them off after looking at the uh, display settings here. So you can see. Uh, we are on the Macs, on the Android phones, uh, I don't think, obviously you still can't change anything here with the iPhone, uh, so we're just going to have a look at the display quality, we're going to look at the speaker quality, uh, and we're going to see the overall performance, see how each phone does handle it, uh, so we'll just start them all up here. So that was the iPhone speaker that I did leave on. You can hear it's really uh, bassy. After five years on the East Coast, it was time. So we can just have a look here. That uh, the Note 8 seems to take ages to start up. Uh, I think uh, the Note 8 comes with Exynos 8895, which really suffers actually when it comes to the games on some of the optimization. As you can see, it's only just loading the game here. This is a Snapdragon 835 Nokia 8, uh, it's a very high end. Uh, we'll just turn these speakers up as well, let's just put that on the pause. Uh, so, yeah, so let's uh, see what these speakers are here on the side. I'd say the speaker's decent, you know, it's not amazingly loud. Or it's a bit tinny, you know, I think uh, it does reflect the price. Not good at all. Come on, show me what you got. I've got this collar, boys. You should move. You're going to jail, Mac Daddy. So, Just shut up. As you can see, I haven't played for a while and I forgot uh, what I'm doing. Uh, no heat coming from the back, nice and cool, even though it is a kind of metal design, which is nice. Uh, so, we're going to move on to the iPhone 8 Plus. You can't control the, like, um, graphics here, but I'm expecting to be optimised anyway. I'll just shut this one up. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, as I said, uh, we're, we're still getting a full HD display here, no 2K display or anything. But one great thing about Apple is the optimization. You know, they're always making it work here. As you can see, no lags. Fantastic uh, frame rate. Those speakers are amazing, I've got to say. On the iPhone, really bassy. Oh, easy, bitch. Brother, I have no beef with you. Good. Comfortable on the back, no feet or anything. Oh, 
great performance, you know, it just works out of the box at the end of the day. That's exactly what I want uh, from uh, Apple. Uh, we're just looking at uh, the XC Premium here. I have played this game a few times uh, with this phone. And I think uh, it is fantastic, you know, 4K display, uh, which is unparalleled still. But the speaker is awful, got to say, you know, Sony really... Sony really needs to improve the speakers. What they kill you for? For life, Buster. For life. We hit you with a few more. Raise up out of here, Epples. Raise up. I think there's uh, some glitches when it comes to Sony. How do I get up again? I'm gonna tear you up. There we go. Run. Ain't nothing dope about the grove, man. But you can see, you know, it does the job. No real lags. I did see a little glitch, but not not too much. You can see a few when I move the camera. Uh, but the 4K display, I'd say, is still superior to what Apple's offering or Nokia overall. Uh, and finally, we do have the Note 8 here, which I assume is going to have the most problems, but we will see. Uh, let's, uh, oh, you see, straight away, straight away, even the S8 uh, Plus wasn't this bad. Come on, surely I can at least get a game on. You see, this is going to probably be a unique problem to those of us who have the Exynos uh, model of the Note 8 here. Did load a lot faster this time though, which is good. Just turn it up. Saw some lag there on that uh, animation. Yeah, you can see here, it automatically looks very laggy. And some people say, you know, you shouldn't blame Samsung for this performance. It's all to do with Rockstar and, all, and not supporting the game. But really, you know, Samsung should be in touch with the company and tell them, look, we need uh, to improve the performance here. Because this is still a very popular game. I'd say it's among the best still on Android. Until we see, you know, more recent GTA. Uh, but you can see it's, it's certainly playable at the end of the day. In fact, I'd say it's probably a little bit better than the S8 here, which was pretty unplayable with the amount of glitches. Uh, the speaker is still pretty awful. You know, I definitely think for a multimedia phone, they should have had a front-facing speaker, but they probably didn't have much area to fix it. Uh, in terms of display, it's probably the best here by far. You know, you get an amazing colour reproduction, uh, but we do have another crash here, as you can see. So, uh, I think uh, the Note 8 is going to suffer the same thing as the other Samsung phones which use Exynos with this game. But overall, you know, I think you can see a good uh, variation here. Which one did I prefer the most? Uh, probably the iPhones, because it gives you the most stable kind of experience, as well as the best speakers overall uh, out of these you know but if you do disagree let me know uh, and uh, we'll certainly uh, check it out I will probably do some other game tests as well checking out some more modern games if anyone wants to see that uh, and uh, yeah just a quick video here hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one cheers